Hello everyone, welcome back to Divide and Conquer. We're carrying on with our Darwinian campaign. And we're going to jump straight into yes. a battle in Austin Eddy. And we have to the south, Vine Regent, Swain and Norway besieging Varfest. This is the first turn besieging it. So we're hoping that they're going to sally forth and attack us. And Darth Lou is probably going to rebel, we can't hold on to it for uh, the time being. And Dolgodo is sort of just stuck in a bit of a limbo. Captain Zogrum outside Rawberg and Captain Uglag outside Logarth. I think they're probably waiting for the rebel settlements to be snapped up My Lord. before the Glen Rock. Because we are at war with them, sorry, not the Glen Rock. We are at war with them before actually attacking us. So we'll have to see about that. And obviously Strondost is not being besieged for a turn. Um, so we are having to replenish a couple of troops. I would like to retrain some more there if we can. So I think we will actually just train some more. Probably the swordsmen are going to be the best. Or the bladesmen. And here as well, if we can actually recruit some units, we may be able to repel them. Probably not. But we'll give it a bloody good go. Same here as well. If we get another unit or two. Mm, again. But anyway. So yes, we have Athel here besieging Austin Eddy. We are going to take it right now. I don't want to wait forever for the turns. Marwyn. He's got Cochrane Bodyguard. Could be an issue. Daratai Warriors and Hunters. They're rubbish. And Captain Tamaruban. He's coming with some Clansmen, Baroon Raiders and Dragon Riders. Could be an issue. But... Oh, we could actually do a night attack. Even better. Um, but do we want to kill Tamaruban? Probably. I think we can as well. That'll put our cavalry to use. So yeah, we won't we won't do a night attack. They'll come in from the side, we can actually use our cavalry then. Otherwise our cavalry would be obsolete. So we're straight into a battle within like the first two minutes of the episode. That's a great way to start. We need some retribution, some revenge for our previous grievances with these dirty, vile Easterlings. Um, how do we want to do this first? I think we should probably. We'll let them take the Baron run. No one else can drop. And um, we just sort of want to wait to see. The reinforcements should come from over here, I believe. But we just want to be sure. Well, okay, that, that shouldn't be where they come from at all. But. Oh, well, you're shooting from there already. So, what we'll do is we'll try and deal with the. Um, reinforcements first. Hopefully they don't sally out. They're not sallying out, are they? No, they're not. They usually pull back. Yeah, that's what they do. So yeah, we'll deal with these guys first. They should just sprint towards us. Crossbows. I'm not really sure how helpful you're going to be in this fight. I don't need to waste your arcing shots. Actually, you might as well just save your ammo because we're going to need you against the uh, Lock Rim. Right, counter charge them. Oh wow, that was perfect. They got absolutely annihilated. Well done. Well done, chaps. Bloody good show. Right, we do have the Baroon Raiders, though, which are going to be an issue. Who else is coming? Right, I thought here you conserve your ammo. Cavalry, you charge the clansmen. Where's the Baroon Raiders? Good tidings. The enemy general lies That was a good dead. charge. If we continue like this, we I wonder if they got stuck or something. Force remains. Well, keep chopping away. Who's sallying forth here? How dare you! Get him. Oh, that's an instant route. Cowards. 
All right, let's go back to the gate. We are done here. Send Arthur here back there as well. Cavalry, you've killed all them. Uh, I honestly don't know where the Baroon Raiders are. Unless they've got stuck as they come into the map, maybe. Not sure. But you should be able to kill them for me. Before they run back in. If we continue like this, we will yes. Smash the enemy. No? Okay. Right, now we're getting shot. Because they've got the Lork Rim there. Oh. Right, go knock the gate down. Arthur, you might as well just loose all of your arrows, sir. Shoot at what you want. Daratai Warrior is probably the better choice. Oh, they're actually selling out, well. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous, like, I know they've got the Arrow Towers, but the Swordmasters should be absolutely chewing through those Daratai Warriors. Right, those Arrow Towers that good? I don't think so. It's ridiculous, they're so overpowered. It's like our best unit. Can't beat feckin' Daratai Warriors. What is going on? Oh my lord, you guys are just getting butchered. Pull back. You are a shame to Darwinian. Seven men. Terrible. These guys are just charging out. You carry on. Oh, well, I've actually killed quite a lot. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. I tell you what, then, let's have a go at the crossbows. I know we're going to lose a few because of those arrow towers. Probably unnecessarily as well. What are these like? Uh, not that good. Right. I think we just need to get in then, don't we? You're not going to kill many like that. Just charge in there, get in as quick as you can. Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. I killed a fair few. Right, Blazeman, keep going. The Kill the hunters. Will be ours. This is where we get absolutely riddled with arrows now. And those ridiculously overpowered watchtowers. Pull the crossbows back. Almost 14%. You two kill them. Bladesman, you move forward. You guys get in here as well. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Just push through. Get through. Go, 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 go. These guys are just getting annihilated by those bloody towers. You guys get in there as well. Kill them. Come on. We're losing so many. Unnecessarily as well. One is left for... Like, why are you still shooting? You do not control them. Absolute joke. This tower is so annoying. So bloody good when you're using them while they're on your side. But Jesus Christ, when you're attacking... They just incinerate your units. Not mad about it at all. The truth, Kill them all. No. Dirty mouse scum. Oh my, that would be useful. Um, uh, we're not really bothered about keeping it, to be honest, so... We'll take it. Oh, we're making about a thousand a turn. Very nice. Captain Logan. The Baron Raiders, so where the hell were they? They must have got stuck or something. 
I was actually going to stand and fight. How weird. I didn't mean to all resolve that either. Oh, I completely clicked the wrong victory. button there. But never mind. What an idiot I am. Um, right. Righty right. So, we want to leave those here because. Oh. Where's all the money gone? We were earning like a thousand a turn, and it's just suddenly dropped. I don't quite know why. Considering we lost men as well, so if, if anything, it should have gone up, not down. Very strange. Um, oh, but we can retrain both units there, so that's good. Right, we're going to stay here for a turn, because there is an Easterling army in the shadows somewhere around here. And I think it's on its way back to help Austin I think it was. Or it might have me coming down to help Varfest, but we'll see. If they can attack Austin this army, and we can kill them, and then we can take Varfest, we'd be in a really good position. Then we've sort of trapped Rune in, um, which would be very handy, considering we have no troops apart from this little army, which is not the best. Um, but we are going to end turn. Let's see what they do. Apologies for any background noise. I'm just drinking tea. As any true Englishman does. Olaf. No, thank you. Byrig's besieged already. Carandus under attack. And in falters. Not surprising there. Dorthalu has still not rebelled. I don't quite know why it hasn't. But that's fine. Right, we're still making a decent amount as well. Q stalled. And they didn't sally out either, which is quite annoying. Right, where's my spy? I'm going to need you down here to find this army for me. I'm getting slightly concerned now. If we attack Varfest, they'll spawn a ridiculous amount of garrison units, I would have thought. Because this is one of their castles. They've already got five units. He's got Lok Rim, which are already going to be tricky to defeat anywhere. But the longer we stay here, the more likely we are to die. And that's the only problem. And it is a castle as well, isn't it? So it's going to have decent towers, I think. So there really isn't much we can do. We definitely need to build a ship and retrain this one. Because there was a little ship somewhere here that had a couple of units on. And obviously Rune could just take Naburka as we've only got one unit in, this, in there garrisoning it. Might be worth to get that at some point, but we're a million miles away from getting that right now. Right, you can jump in there next turn. You go into Carvrad. Then at least every settlement's got a garrison. It would have been nice to recruit these, but... Obviously, we just don't have the money for it. And I would also like to get Athel here out. Um, but the question is, where do we go? We really can't afford to meet the army. With honor, we shall continue tomorrow. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. And I don't want to stray too far from here either. We shall continue tomorrow. Dotho's got nothing. Yes, my lord. To battle. Oh, I don't yes. think we besiege, uh, we attack it because they'll just have too many units. Your orders, my what if we take away like the Bravanian hunters or something? Because I'm not really bothered about them. Yes, your yes, my lord. So what you can do though, you could nip over here for me. Yes. We just there is put no up a little watchtower. 
This tower will keep vigil over the I think out of the two. Your orders, my lord. We, yes. Uh, I don't know really. Because these guys are really good in combat. The high paladins. Your but then obviously nowhere is amazing at um ranged and they're quite good in melee. Yes, my lord. He's got 18 attack and a 25 defense. Your orders, my lord. Whereas these guys have got a 12 attack and a 24 defense. But they do have a 9 missile attack. That's the only problem. Yes, my lord. Oh, what to do, what to do. I think if we take one of the generals out, they would Your probably orders, attack. It's just a case of which one do we take out. Honor. Yes, my lord. And obviously, I really don't want these guys to get caught out. Yes. This tower will keep vigil over the land. So, we'll try it one turn. Lord. We've taken Swain out. Yes, my lord. If they attack, um, <laughs> we should still win. But we'll see, I guess. Austin Airy, you're okay with just with them in, so that's fine. Your orders, my lord. We could really do with another general up here to start putting towers about, but I think we've got the, the outskirts, which is good, so we can actually see what's going on. Strondos is doing okay for the time being. I can't really risk moving anyone out to the fort, even though free upkeep would be nice. Yes, my lord. Um, or do we just for a turn? Because if we put them in there, how much do we save? Your orders, my lord. Oh, that's quite a bit of money as well. Obviously, the only trouble is that we wouldn't recruit any of these units this turn. But that would save us a decent chunk. Roethir. He's going to have to stay there, isn't he? We can't move him out. Yes, my lord. Um... Yeah, why not? We'll risk it. We'll leave it for a turn, see what happens. So, where's our spy gone? We've moved our spy, haven't we? Where be our diplomat? My lord. Um, what are our tasks? Block list. Can't do that. Who else have we... I don't even know who we've made contact with. Let's go down towards Rohan. I don't Question. think we've... Okay, maybe not, because stupid you... elf is blocking the bridge. Right, this is 10 turn. Again. Oh, Dorthal is finally rebelled. So that might buy us a bit of time with the Easterling army, maybe. She. That's not what we wanted. Mukalthu? Mukalku? Oh my god. So he's got Lork Rim and then. Khan Margos has got Lok Narim. Like, where did they get all this army from? And they've got Lok Gamprim and Lok Flagrim as well, who are armor piercing. Fantastic. Oh my god. I knew there was an army there, but I didn't think it was this big. Clear defeat. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Oh god. Making camp here. Okay, well I think that's just made our decision for us. We can't attack Vartfest. Dorthu's revolted, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Got a bunch of units in there, so that'll hold out. Kingdom of Gondor and the have got a war. Uh, no way, you're going to have to pull out, friend. There will be much honor in defeating you. With honor. Pulling back from the war. Yeah. I respect you. Before you get killed. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. These guys aren't doing anything. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. How far can you move? Yes, my lord. I respect you if. in battle. There will be much Right, so that corner you can't reach. Your orders, my lord. Right, this shouldn't be able to attack them. Yes, my lord. If we form up 
Can we beat them? I don't know. But we're going to give it a go. Athel here can be sticking down towers. Alright, let's chuck everyone in here. There we go. Let's sort them out. You can retrain as well. You guys aren't recruiting anything. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Right, we definitely need that up. You guys aren't really training either. Bloody Dolga does just sat here doing nothing. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and defeat this army. Oh, Captain Sartak has come. With only three units. I don't know what they are, but... We're not going to take any risks, so we're just going to jump back into the fort. I think we get one un more unit of Thorn Blazemen, that'll do, for the garrison then. That should be able to hold, hopefully. We'll retrain that first as well. Yeah, now we're back to making no money whatsoever. Oh Christ, that is a huge army for what they have so early on. And it's filled with four amazing units, like look. Local Krim units are really good. My lord. So I think we're going to struggle there. Yes, my lord. Um, diplomats, what were you doing? You were going... No, yes, you can't. You have to go this way. With oh my question, god. As you right, just park there. You'll stay there forever. Question. You will never move again. That's in turn. We were 100% out of their movement range there. So if they attack one of the armies, I'm calling bullshit. Oh, they didn't, thank God. I mean, we're 40 turns in, and we still haven't even taken Mornithil. So we haven't even started the script for Darwin in yet. Like, so that's how bad this campaign has gone. Uh, oh, they're going back to take Marnithel. Not Marnithel, I've literally just said Marnithel. Dorthalu, that's the one. That would be amazing if they attack that, because then at least they will lose some units. Your so, Lord, my Lord. how long is it going to take to get there? Two turns. Yes, my Lord. And it's going to take us a few turns as well. Right, we're going to do a really cowardly thing. Your orders, my but what we're going to do... Is just yes. follow them. That's a decent army we've got there. That's pretty sizable. I think we could beat them there. So it's going to take them two turns. It'll yes, take us two turns. We're going to let them throw themselves at Dorthalu. Hopefully take insane losses. Smash them to pieces. Recapture it. Move back down. Take Varfest. That's the plan. I think that's a good plan. Let's see what comes up and stops us from doing that plan. Oh, you've got no money, you ass. Yeah, I mean, the garrison's not going to be great, but they should still take losses. And attacking a settlement like that will benefit us hugely with the range that we have. In particular, the elven archers, obviously. And Athel here as well. I'm not usually a fan of grouping up more than two generals in an army, but... We're going to have to for this one, so apologies, but it's going to have to happen. Right. Oh my god, the little shits took my fort and ran off. How dare you? Put you back in. Don't take my fort. Cheeky sod. Right. There's nothing else we can do. Spy, where's my spy? Where is my spy? There he is, Sutherland. Approaching quietly. Sutherland, I mean that's such, like, not an, a Darwinian name. A Sutherland, that's quite a posh English name. Right, let's just whiz through these turns. And hope that these things actually do what we predict. 
or prayer that is going to happen. Go on, move up. Yes. Oh, now they attack me. Dolgador. How oh, I hate thee. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Yes, they have. I don't know why they've just decided to attack us now. Not sure what's triggered them. But I think that's probably lost. Adrahil. Um, you seem like a really good general. And you're only 19 as well, so we'll absolutely take you. Oh my god. How are they getting all of these troops? These huge feckin' armies. Mission failed, we know. Right, we certainly don't need two generals here, so... Let's move you out. And you can come up here. Maybe you can save Rawberg. I don't know. Logar's probably gone. Unless we have some insane machine gun towers on our side. Which is doubtful. Approaching quietly. I will not waste words on you. Approaching quietly. Right, we need yes. to hide. The combining forces. Alright, don't then. Atherley was hid in the woods there, so the army I thought would have joined him and just also hid in the woods. But no, apparently not. So I don't know if they're going to attack Dorthaloo now. That would be quite annoying if they don't. Right, these guys aren't in range of attacking me, so... If we stick... New 4 in the fort... Oh, we're still not making any money, so it's Lord, pointless. My Lord. Yes, my Lord. Just stay in there for now. Alright, let's just see what happens with Dorthaloo. Oh wow, they, take, they took it. With like no losses. Captain Uglag has come with absolute trash apart from the Maulers. Mirkwood Goblins and Mirkwood Hunters shouldn't be an issue. Dolgodo Host is very depleted as well, so that, that's good for us. Uh, Wagm Riders are no good in a siege, but the Orc Maulers will probably kill us. We, bring the to we are outnumbered like more than 2 to 1, so. The only hope we have. Is the machine gun nests? Our foes appear to be gaining the upper and not because the these towers are crap. So there goes this settlement. Have they just got a? Oh, they've only got a battering ram as well. What's happening here? Why is this random tower here? Okay. I mean, destroy the baton ram and we win. That would be the best outcome. And obviously they wouldn't put the maulers on it, so... Target the maulers instead, please. They're the guys that are going to kill us, I think. Come on, machine guns. Do your job. The enemy are kill them all. Go on, Blazeman. You're going to have to earn your money today. I'm ready. I don't think you are. Not for a bloody battle axe in between you. The enemy's ram has breached Shoulder the gates. blades. That's a weird place, but... Alright. Who's the general? It's the wargs, isn't it? The Shoot the wargs. No if we the kill the general, taken. we might win. Oh, now you guys have just stopped firing. Shoot at something, please. Good tidings. The enemy general oh, that dead. could actually help. Right. Push back. The 
Archers. Hurry up. From such tidings does victory emerge. Oh my god, we might actually win. Get down. The machine guns might have actually won it for us. Charge those guys, because you're just being stood and being shot at. Kill the wives. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Perfect. Now kill the archers. Oh, yeah, 75%. Kill them. Run out. Oh, we are. Come on, we need to kill Kill them. 83. Only half our force remains. Our army is tiring. What a defense that was. I can't believe we actually won. Who's coming back? Oh, there's quite a few of them actually. Alright, just get back inside. Let the towers kill them. This might be enough to destroy the army as well. I think it was a very good decision to leave the bladesmen in there. If they were just vineyard levies, then we probably wouldn't have won this. Yeah, we have the good towers. I take it back. <laughs> I thought these were the really bad ones, but they're not. Behold how our cowardly foe Holy runs. hell. It's time to press the attack. Go on, just look at them all fall. Like dominoes. Beautiful. We lost 146, but we this killed 748. The and the Bowman getting 221 kills. Nicely done, lads. Well done. Bloody good show. I don't think the settlement in the north would do as well. <laughs> so we've only got one unit of vineyard levies in it. But that is good, and that just shows that we can defend this place for a while, depending on what attacks us. Bit annoying that the garrison at Dorthaloo didn't. It didn't seem to do much to their units. That like seemed to have just taken it without taking any losses, basically. My lord, as you wish. That seems well barely accepted. Well. Why would it be What's barely accepted? Tell you what, though, you can give me some money for my settlements. How about that? Three grand is probably way too much. But I don't think I need map information. There's Rejected. All right, fair enough. Well, well. Greedy dwarves. Without question, stop We've got seven fifty for it, though. Your orders, my lord. So it does mean we can pop a tower down here as well. Yes. And then we're going to attack Dorsa Loom. Yeah, I don't think they've they took many losses there at all. Our plan's completely backfired. And now that's allowed Captain Yorok to move on Austin Eddy. But we're not too concerned about this, to be honest. And the mining network can actually be destroyed. So that's quite good to know. Is that when we eventually take this back it will give us a nice little boost to our income but everyone else is looking okay Alahuia I don't know how you pronounce his name he comes with a size of an army to be honest uh, that's quite alarming Strondost I hope you can hold out I guess we'll find out in time and here's Admiral Kaljar trying to attack our little fleet but I shall end it there. So I think we're doing okay. We're obviously going to pick up next episode with the battle at Dorsaloo. And then potentially a siege at Strondost as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I shall catch you all in the next one.